RuneScape 3 has a bunch of AFK money-making methods, but did you know that there is a certain method that will last the full 20-minute logout timer? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set it up and what it is exactly. So if you're excited for that, stay tuned. Let's dive right in. Now, before we fully get into it, I would like to point out that this AFK method is not as much GP per hour to other AFK methods. This is an AFK method that is a full 20 minute AFK method. Unless you want to keep hitting the key bind or you want to come click on the screen, rotate it or something, then you can keep this going for as long as you do not log out. Now, for the requirements, you're going to need at least level 50 mining to be able to mine the Runite ores. But I recommend you being up to level 60 mining so you can get into the mining guild itself. It's a chilled spot. You don't have to go too far and it's easy access. Next, you're going to need Sign of the Porters, at least Grace of the Elves, because it, it just makes it that much simpler. You can just throw all of your Sign of the Porters into it. It just makes this the most AFKable. You're also going to need level 6 plus divination just so you can make the sign of the porters. I recommend trying to get up to level 88 divination so you can make sign of the porters 5. It's just saving a lot of GP when you make the sign of the porters 5 and above. Now for the recommended. I recommend your best pickaxe. No need to say. Bring your best pickaxe. Bring your best scaling outfit for mining. Luck of the Dwarves is a recommendation. It's a high priced, but that's for all of the Serene Spirits that are going to be popping up and the Spirit Attraction Potions as well. You can bring those if you want. You don't really need to, but it makes it truly AFKable to where you don't need to click on your Serene Spirits. As with this method, you're going to be looking at about 2.5 mil GP per hour, which isn't too bad for something that you're just full on AFK in for 20 minutes. You're also going to be looking at 140,000 XP per hour, which again, is not too bad for something that you're just going to be clicking once and walking away for 20 minutes. Now to get to the mining guild itself, for those of you who have 99 Dungeoneering, you can just use your cape. As you probably already know, you activate it, you hit your number 7, you go straight to the mining guild itself, and you just click on one of the Ruinite rocks. Simple method just to straight up go and get there. Now for those of you who don't have the pleasure to use the 99 Dungeoneering cape, what you're going to do is you're going to home teleport to Falador. Once you get to the Lodestone, you're going to run southeast through Falador itself all the way to the Arsenon shop. Once you make it over in the general area, you're going to see these four ladders. All you got to do is just click on one and you're going to pop up in the exact location that you've seen the 99 Dungeoneering Cape does take you. All you got to do is hit a Ruinite Rock and just get to work. Now, if for some reason none of those are your cup of tea, what you can do is you can also go back to the Falador Lodestone, but this time we're going to go north. We're going to go through the Dwarven Mines itself. So what you're going to do is go through the Dwarven Mines, run over to the side with the Scorpions, run all the way up, go through the cage, and there you are. Just click on the Rune Knight Rock again and just straight to work. Now, for the AFK method, it is super simple, as simple can be within RuneScape. Now, you're going to get yourself to the Ruinite Rock. You're going to click on your Perfect Juju Mining Potion, which if you guys don't know what that does, simple case is once you hit it, it lasts for one hour. One hour, believe it or not. But that corresponds with your Ruinite Stone Spirit. So every time you're, you get an ore, your stamina refurbishes, basically. So this is what makes it... AF cable along with the sign of the porters with grace of the elves now if you guys are running with the spirit attraction potions as well you can throw those into a potion reservoir which will make this a hundred percent AF cable so you don't have to click on the serene spirits every single time they do pop up so in this case I have the luck of the dwarves for the spirit attraction potions that are will be going on every 15 minutes i do have the 99 mining cape which will help me get some more geodes and some more critical strike chances while mining the runite ores so for this method all you need is your best pickaxe grace of the elves or sign of the porters your perfect juju mining potion and your stone spirits in this case it's going to be runite stone spirits this does work for basically all the ores. Now the higher 
tier ores that you go after, it takes a little longer for you to be able to, you know, get the ores from the rock spots themselves. Now, I do believe this method has probably been out for a long time now. So if so, please let me know. If there's a different method that you can work around with this, also let me know down in the comments too. But if you guys found this any kind of useful, please drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing for future content like this. I'm trying my best to put content out that maybe you guys have never heard of or maybe it does help out on an AFK method. Maybe you're stuck at work and you need some you know, passive income on the side to be able to make some GP inside of RuinScape. With that being said, this is the end of the video. So I hope to see you guys in the future content on the channel and I hope you guys stay safe. See you.